What is going on guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here coming at you with a deck profile video on a well budget way Schwartz deck profile that uh well some subscri uh, a subscriber asked me to do a guilty crown deck profile for him deck for him so that um well you know just budget so I decided to make it with a few cards that I had extras of and that were I found that were good in the deck and that were really well budget because, you know, let's be honest, this card here, it's pretty expensive, unless if you manage to pull one or anything. So, but he did, he did, he did tell me that he was getting one, so this is a substitute for the one that he has. But I will tell you in the video what you could replace to swap this out for. So, level 3 is for him, it'd be one of this, but I can tell you what you could swap that out for on the side. And now for level 2s, we have 10. We play 2 Inori. Uh, 2-1, 8k, reveal the top card of your deck if it is a level 1. It does not matter if it's a climax or event or anything. Well, actually, climax or level 0s, but events or anything. As long as it's a level 1 or higher, you get to get plus 2k to anything. It's really good. Especially since this deck does not have a lot of 10k level 3s or anything. So then you have... Oh, let me sum that up for you guys. You have 2... I mean, 3 Inori... 2, 1, 8k red. So, this Sonori is most likely the one I would place sub in for this one. So, you could play technically four of these. So, the, this one has the ability of when one of your guys becomes reversed during the battle, it gains plus 1,000. So, it's actually pretty decent because it can hit for 9k. And most of the times, you will be getting stuff reversed since it's not strong enough to kill other things. But... In the long run, it's a 2-1, because I did want to conserve stock, because you do not have really a means of gathering stock through, except by attacking and getting it. So then we, and also to counteract for that, I play this card. 2-2 uh, Tsugumi, it has a Climax combo, which I will later show on, but it has a decent effect, I believe. I do not remember this card's effect. But yeah, I just know that's decent. I'll, that's all I know. Yeah, I know it's pretty good. And then for the block cards we play in the deck, we play two girl. I have no clue her name. Doesn't really matter to me. But I would have played Young Shu, the red one. But the thing is that the deck does not support. Does not have enough support of certain color, i.e. the green. So I decide to add that in. By the way, this deck is red, green, blue. As requested. So uh, these can be put in for this, but in reality, I found that this is a lot better since there's not enough green cards. Sorry about the shaking of the camera. And now that concludes level twos and technically threes. That's 10. Well, you can make it 11 if your budget. And now level ones. We play. Four green one zero six k clean or whatever side. This guy his ability is that when he's on the field, you cannot none of your guys can side attack, which isn't really a big deal because of the fact of the early one k the early um, game push that this deck does make because of the fact that I play lots of six k's as level ones and all that. So you can pretty much ride it out and you can just direct attack and yeah, directing attack is perfectly fine too. And now we play, keeping with the theme, see, we play 4 Inori 6-5, uh, I think it's Hand Encore, so you discard one and it, gains, it can Encore. So yeah, this is why you have pretty much, this guy's useful, because you don't really need side attacking if you have 6-5 as a level 1, because you're pretty decent there and you can Encore it. And now a request from him to put into the deck from the guy that requested the deck. You get two of these. So these are salvage noise. You play it, play one one four k, and then you pay one. You pay one stock, and then you pay one ditch one card from your hand is salvage one card, which is actually really good. And later on, I placed a. You'll see later on that I have a bond for the card, so it's pretty decent. Now moving on to blue, we play one Sugumi. 7k because I found that you have enough stock as it is and you'd rather and it's a lot more beneficial to have at least a 7k body instead so and uh, additionally we play three to give me five one zeros 
This one has the ability of that if you turn over, you have a level 1 or higher character, I think, this time. You get to have... You get to put one card under it as a card marker, so, uh... As such. And then this card gains plus 1,000. So it becomes 6k. It's a 6k body that's free, pretty much. Because pretty much the entire deck is level 1s or higher. Well, a lot... Practically the half of the deck. So that concludes level 1s. That's 4, 6... 10, 14, 14 level ones, and I will just move. I will move on to the level. Move on to the level zero. So we play sixteen level zeros because you need the support. You need the boosters because you do not play Hare in here because you know don't have her. Uh, four shoes. So the four K body. So it's actually really good. Because, you know, 4k body at the beginning of level 0 game is pretty good. 3, Suicide Inori. Now, I would bump that up to maybe one more, but I thought about it. And reversing level 0s, you can kind of take care of anything with this. And then you always have her as extra. So it's pretty much not needed. And on top of that, you have this guy. He is Funnel. He is the Climax combo with that Inori I talked about earlier. Her. So her his ability is bond, you pay one stock and then you get to salvage her from the drop. So it's pretty much a guaranteed salvage at the end by the end because you will have the other Inori. And his ability is that if one of your guys gets reversed at all, you can give plus one thousand anything on the board. So it does make things a lot beefy and it does help with the idea the concept of him. I mean her. So pretty much the deck revolves around boosting and it is quite decent at that. But just to make sure, you do play 4 uh, Salvage Inori, 5k booster. So it gives plus 5k to anything in front of it, and then when it's played, you can play 2 stock to salvage anything. Although it is just good as a booster, it's in there for as booster mainly. And then for the blue cards, we play 3... I do not remember the name. I really do not. Uh, but yeah, three of her, and she is the one that gains plus 15, so she makes it makes her 4k. I do not remember the terms of the conditions of her. I think it's only if you have two or more, but that's pretty much... So I'm pretty sure that it's fine as it is, because you can just have her and him, and then that makes 4k each body, so 4k body's pretty good! So that's 16 zeros, and then moving on to level, I mean, the climaxes... Play four salvage because I can't because you can't. Uh, three books and this is the climax combo that I was talking about earlier with the Sugumi. This one allows you to draw stuff, so you get to draw a card. And I noticed that with the deck, you need lots of hand advantage because you do want to encore with stuff and you do want to have a decent hand because you only play two block cards, so you want to have those block cards in hand and you. Want to have lots of hand advantage because you don't re don't really want to pay stock to get on to encore three, like pay three stock to encore things. So you'd rather just replace it with stuff because you do have enough card power cards to fill up the spaces. And then to round it off, you play one gold thingy, one gold thing. I was gonna play the gold block that gives you the climax, but I found that instead it'd be a lot better to just play climax combo climax like this to get. More stock, in, more more uh, stock. But although I am thinking about taking a one salvage to put that in, but you know, if the deck is to get altered, it'd be a lot be more beneficial to anybody to have the four salvage already with them. So I thought that as a good starting point, that this would be better. So that concludes the deck. I think I'm pretty sure I made forty nine cards. Let me just make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, three, four, three, five. Oh, that's I think I only have 49 cards. Uh, but if I do have 49 cards, I would play then, in that case, this extra card. It is a event card. So it's an event that you get to play 1-1 one, one, and it gets allows you to search out for any climax card. Now, some people might say that that's really bad, but the thing is that deck thinning is good at the end because if you know you only have one, 
in the thing, it's still good, and most of the time you'd be searching out for Climax Combo card like this, because you do want this card in your hand to draw, because it's a pretty decent card to draw with the Climax Combo, because if, if you think about it, like, this at least gives you plus 1,000, and it will let you hit those 10k level 3s that your opponent has, so it's still really good. And anyways, if that isn't the 50th card, or it's the 51st card, then just take it out and just ignore what I said. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and, uh, oh, right, um, if you guys really want me to make any decks for you guys, I can probably do that with the resources I have, and it's not too much of an issue, just tell me what your budget is and all that, well, really just PM me, just private message me, and we can discuss about that, but anyways, this deck, minus the Inori here, would probably be going for... Well, uh, depends if they want sleeves or anything, or a deck box, but just the deck by itself without sleeves or anything, just the cards would probably be, uh, between like 50 and $60, just because of the fact that most of these cards are, actually, I'll say 40, 45 to 6, 45 to 60, yeah, 45 to 60, just because of the fact that the deck, these cards are out of print now, and... Guilty Crown is pretty hard to find because uh, the boosters are pretty much out of print, like I said, and all the cards are pretty pricey now. So, anyways, thanks guys. Hope you stay tuned for more Cartwright Vanguard and Way Schwartz stuff, and I will be sure to just check on with you guys uh, later on. This has been Tony from Team Divine Pro, signing off.